Alright, what's up everyone? Welcome back to another episode of Backlash Angling. We are out on Lake Erie. Ice is out and uh, yeah, we are we are out on the new Backlash Tinner. We got a, about a 12 foot Tinner, a little six horse, and she's a beauty. She's uh, We used it yesterday, so Mads and I went out yesterday. We were trying to film a video, but it ended up just being absolute chaos. We were catching tons of fish and uh, Maddie ended up getting this 13 and 3 quarter giant biggest perch I've seen in my life. Yeah, it was just an absolute magnum. Probably weighed right around that two pound mark. So we're out here today with uh, mom, Zach, and we're trying to replicate the exact same thing. We're looking for just a bunch of keepers and looking to break a bunch of PBs. I want to, I want something in that 13 class range myself. So yeah, we're going to get to it. The, the kind of the dealio right now is we're running uh, pickle rigs and we're just mixing it up between worms and minnows. We were going to go all minnows, but they're out at the marina. So worms will have to do. So hopefully we can keep smacking them and then maybe we'll do some sort of unique catch and cook tonight for you guys and uh, teach you a new recipe. So stick with it and enjoy. That's a true seven striper. There we go. Ah. Alright, back down there. Let's get into some here, baby. Dig, Zach, dig. Alright, so we're about three hours into fishing. This light is probably just awful. Yeah, that ain't gonna get much better. But yeah, we're about three hours into the day. We're, we're picking away at them, but it's so much different than yesterday. Yesterday we sat on one spot anchored and we were just crushing them after and after. Like we had a huge giant school under us, which is kind of what you hope for in fishing for perch. But yeah, today they're just super sporadic. We've been drifting, doing some drifts, plugging ourselves away, stopping. Uh, bucking away at two more, drifting, and they're just, it seems like they're super they're spaced out. They're all over this whole flat area. So we're just trying to do the best as we can and hopefully come across the school eventually. But yeah, I'm not too sure. I don't know what's going on with them right now. I don't know why they're not schooled up together. So yeah, we're going to probably fish for a few more hours and yeah, hopefully start crushing into them soon. Yeah, I don't know. We'll, uh, we'll try to figure something else out. We might even try a different spot here in a second or two. But uh, yeah, we gotta find them. Keeper. That right there is your perfect keeping size. Probably nine and a half, ten inches. A little chunky, but. There you go. Oh, that's good. One. That's good. One. That's good. One. That's a tank. <laughs> That's a beauty.
All right, so we are back at the crib. We finished off with probably right around, I'd say 80 or so perch, uh, another great day. And uh, we ended up keeping 45 between the three of us and then three tank Rockies, as you can say. I never thought these were good. And if you're in the same boat as me, apparently you can get a nice strap off them that is in the winter time and in those cold temperatures is sweet, just like perch. So. Uh, we'll try it out tonight and uh, we'll let you know. But yeah, we're gonna get these filleted up uh, and then I'll introduce you to what we were making tonight because it's something interesting and I know a lot of people get caught up in just doing the same thing over and over with fish. And I always like to try different things and this summer I really want to uh, showcase a bunch of different ways, uh, got some stuff going on in the back, a bunch of different ways to showcase fish in a different way and uh, yeah, maybe uh, teach you guys a couple new uh, couple new recipes so yeah we'll get these flayed up that'll take a bit and then uh then we'll get to cook in for uh, dinner tonight all right so we got our fish flayed up and if anybody is an avid perch fisherman uh you have to understand that it is absolutely a blast catching them but bringing home 40 plus perch like we did today and even if you kept the limit say we kept a limit of 150 today that's just an insane amount of work so be uh be wary that you always have to uh make sure that you can uh, take the time to flay them up after. But yeah, let's get to the cooking process. So like I said today, we are making a peanut sauteed perch with a gnocchi base. I was gonna do rice, but my dad wants to do gnocchi and uh, I can't ever say no to gnocchi. So we're gonna put it on top of that. We're gonna have tomatoes, zucchini, uh, a little bit of bell pepper, jalapeno pepper to give it some spice. And yeah, you can pretty much throw whatever you want into it. Any, any other vegetables I'd recommend. I would always throw broccoli into it. You can do cauliflower, corn, uh, coming into season in the next couple months would be really good in it too. And yeah, any really, uh, any vegetable you want to put into it. But yeah, so we're going to get dicing these up. Uh, and then, yeah, and then it's uh, going to be pretty much a one pot thing. We're going to get it all in here. And then once it's all cooked up, the veggies and stuff like that, we'll add our perch in because they won't take long to cook. So yeah, let's get started on the prep process and then we'll start to cook. All right, so we just got all our veggies cut up. Looking good to go. I, like I said, add as much vegetables as you want. I, if I had more in the fridge, I probably would have added some more, but yeah, just add any of your favorite vegetables because once you add that pea and stir fry sauce, it'll really take on that flavor. So you can really do what you want with it. It's up to you. All right, so I just got all our perch flayed up like that. I only like the little chunks, just something that's really uh, fork size, right? Easy to bite on. You don't want to be pushing with your fork. It should really all be bite sized pieces. And what I'm going to do now is I'm going to add about two tablespoons of olive oil to my pan and then I'm going to add a little bit of butter as well. And then I'm just going to get all those uh, vegetables in there and I'm going to start sauteing them because I want to start that before I add the fish in because the fish really won't take much. Uh, it'll probably take about a quarter of the time as the vegetables because it really cooks quick. The perch is nice and thin and then when you get that peanut sauce in there, it'll, it just really will all come together. So we'll get all those veggies going, we'll start sauteing, we'll get the gnocchi going in about five or so minutes, and yeah, let's just uh, start the cooking. If you're cooking fish, you gotta add a little bit of butter. All right, we'll get that butter all melted and rendered down. Right, good to go, let's grab our veggies. Get all, those babies in there. Get all that goodness. We're just gonna let that get all tender, get the peppers down. That's the most important. You want those nice and nice and soft. So we'll get all that, and then we're gonna add the perch, and then we'll get the peanut sauce in afterwards. All right, so we got our vegetables sauteing in the pan. We're really coming along, we're getting pretty soft. And for seasoning, if anybody's wondering, you can kind of do as you please. I like a lot of pepper. Obviously, hit it with a little bit of salt. And then I'm a big fan. If I'm cooking any fish at all, I like to use a lemon pepper. Not too much, just for the house. That peanut sauce will kind of take it over and then just Italian seasoning. Those are the three, keep it simple, but if you don't like that jalapenos in it, I highly suggest throw some chili powder or a little bit of cayenne to really kick up the heat. If you like it spicy. And yeah, I'm just gonna let this render down for another minute or two. It's looking good. All the flavors are coming along. 
and then uh, we'll get that uh, perch into it. Get our peanut sauce, and then we're cooking, and we uh, should be almost finished up. It's a nice quick meal, and it's a little bit different than your uh, standard fish fry. Our veggies are rendered down enough that I'm ready to add a perch in. Like I said, I like to add the perch a little bit later on, just because it cooks quick. And it shouldn't be in as long as that vegetable or it starts to get that mushy te texture with. You actually still want all this uh, perch to hang in together. You want it to still be a whole, not just mush along with your vegetables, right? So we'll get the perch down, let them cook a little bit, and then we'll add our pink sauce. All right, so we just cooked our perch for no no more than a minute, and it's already getting, I can show you right there, it's already getting that whiteness on the in insides. The insides will still be not fully cooked, but that's the time you want to throw it in. It takes about a minute. So what we do is we got our peanut sauce. You can find that at pretty much any of your local grocery stores. Uh, Memories of Chez One peanut saute. It's got a cute little panda on it. Give it a shake up. And then we're just gonna add that to it. The sauce is good for any, any stir fry mix, anything you wanna do, but I love it paired with perch. Perch, walla, by or. So good. So we'll get that stirred in. And after that, we're gonna just turn down the volume to probably medium heat and just let it simmer off while we wait for the gnocchi to finish cooking. It smells so good. So we got our mixture it's simmering on medium heat. As you can start to see, you start to see the perch start to kind of flay apart and it starts to break apart. That's how you know it's finished cooking and you can just start pulling it apart with a fork. That's exactly what you want. So it's perfect, it's gonna sit on medium heat. Nope, he's going to take four minutes, and then we'll add it all together. But like I said, you can add rice, you can add different stir-fry noodles, kind of whatever whatever you're feeling or whatever's in the pantry, because this is just a mixture, and then what is, what's on the bottom is just the base. So, yeah, your choice, your preference. So we're going to let that finish up, add the gnocchi, and then, uh, yeah, I'll show you the finished product. All right, yeah, so that's the finished product. It looks and it, it smells so good. I can't wait to dig into this. So yeah, that's just one of the different ways we like to cook up fish in our household. I know the typical fish fry is delicious and I would, I would love to put a video of maybe a different rendition of how I do my fish fries, but yeah, I'll definitely love to show you guys how we cook up perch and walleye in this house and just give you guys a bunch of different ideas for recipes for the future because I know it can be tiring doing that fish fry over and over and over again. So hope you guys enjoyed the video. Hope you guys enjoyed watching us smoke a bunch of perch on the inner bay. And yeah, I can't wait to show you guys more recipes in the future. So if you haven't already, make sure to subscribe to the channel and yeah, follow along for our future content. Cheers and thanks for the view.